for God alone. Hello, I'm Malcolm Cox, and these podcasts are backing up a class series we're teaching in the Thames Valley Churches of Christ this August 2018, and the class series is all about quiet times. And the title is taken from Psalm 62, verse 1, For God alone my soul waits in silence. We truly do need God, and here's a thought for today. When we look at Psalm 62, we see that David is confident in God, but he's also very aware of the fact that he needs God and that he has enemies. We talked yesterday about the fact that he can see people trying to attack him as if he were a tottering fence or bringing him down as a person of prominence. But then it's interesting what David does as he reviews his situation. I think that's what's going on there in verses 3 and 4. He's taking a review. This is what's going on. But before he can ruminate to the point of distract, being distracted from his God. He goes back. He goes back to his opening statement of verses 1 and 2. And in verses 5 and 6, he says, For God alone my soul waits in silence, for my hope is from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. Oh, on God rests my deliverance and my honor, my mighty rock, my refuge is in God. And so it's good to take our fears and our bad situations to God in prayer, that's absolutely fine, but not to get stuck there, not to stay too long ruminating. If we do that, then we're not going to find our way out of that darkness back into the God who gives us hope. Have you found yourself stuck a bit in your prayers in the dark place? Well, why not reaffirm what you truly believe about God so that you can find hope in Him? Until the next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care and 